What's up YouTube, welcome back to MMO's World, we're bringing you another recap of all the major MMO news that happened throughout the week, so sit tight and soak it in. We're starting the news this week with Final Fantasy XIV, which has released its official benchmark software for you to test if your PC is ready for the upcoming Shadowbringers expansion. This is a 2 gig in total download, which also comes with a character creation tool that allows you to play with the two new races available at the expansion's launch, which is the Hrothgar and the Viera race. Final Fantasy XIV also held a producer's letter live stream from San Francisco where director Yoshida talked about all the upcoming tweaks and features to the game like revamping of fates and side quests and they also released a new trailer highlighting all the job actions that got a revamp or are new to the game. Elsewhere, medieval MMO Conqueror's Blade has announced its open beta and it will take place on June the 4th. If you don't know what Conqueror's Blade is, every player is a warlord and can enter the fray of epic 15 vs 15 siege battles, choosing to employ special abilities, devastating weapons of war, and cunning strategies to gain the advantage. Players can also ride out into a perilous fast open world and conquer lands and resources in the name of their empire. All you need to do if you're interested is head over to cb.my.com, register a new account, and join in the fun come June the 4th. Moving on now, World of Warships Legends entered its console early access phase a little over a month ago, and the wargaming development team behind this effort is proud to announce that they have already reached 1 million global players as of this week. To celebrate this prestigious milestone, the team behind World of Warships Legends is launching the first of many upcoming in-game editions by offering the all-new Atlanta campaign, some free packs, and even a new starter pack. In the Atlanta campaign, which is now live in-game, players can dive into a large variety of tasks and missions, which gives you many opportunities to promote your commanders, and when you complete the campaign, you'll earn a Tier 6 Premium Cruiser to USS Atlanta. Elsewhere, free-to-play co-op action RPG Dauntless has launched on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Epic Games Store this past week, and we've been talking about it for weeks because we've been anticipating it. And, surprisingly, Dauntless has already gained over 4 million players because of this, and one can only think that the cross-play really, really helps, whereby p people on the PC can play with people on the PS4, and in addition to that, all the latest cool stuff like the rework to the massive campaign and all the other improvements definitely helps Dauntless moving forward. Will it be an to challenge Monster Hunter World? Who knows? Up next, World of Warcraft Classic had a surprise stress test earlier in the week, and thousands of players tried to get on, but was roadblocked by tactical issues. For those that got in, there was a couple of hours of heavy stress testing in the early levels with a low level cap, but Blizzard has acknowledged that there were issues, and therefore there will be a second stress test on the 29th of May, and this time everybody who got a stress test invite the first time around but didn't get to play, this is a second chance, so be sure to mark your calendars May 29th, second World of Warcraft Classic stress test. And finally this week, WebZen has announced that its 3D MMORPG Moo Online is celebrating its 10th anniversary and in-game celebrations are now live. Starting this week until June the 4th, the Moo Online team is running various in-game anniversary events such as Evamon Hunting, Evamon Ranking, and Mystic Gift Box events just to name a few. Players will be ranked by the maximum level of the evolved Evamon and the total damage to the Evamon as well. If you are listed in the top rank, you will receive special rewards like the legendary Dark Wizard Moon, a Soul Mastery set, and Root as well. And that wraps up our MMO News Recap for the week. For more MMO news as it happens, head on over to our website at mmsworld.com. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more MMO news. As ever, I'm Major from MMS World, signing out.